So you were just having a blast playing with your RC car and then BAM! The antenna breaks off, you don't know what to do, your car's not getting any more good range, you have to buy a whole new transmitter, receiver, whole combo again that's just going to cost you like 80, 70 bucks. If only there was a way to avoid this. I'm going to show you how to do this for free. First step, you're going to need a nail that is about the same width as the hole in the antenna housing. Is it the antenna holder? And if it is not, and if you don't have a nail that is small enough, then you can either try drilling a hole or just jamming it through there. Crazy glue. Hi. Heavy duty scissor cutter thing. A screwdriver. Broken RC radio transmitter. Today we're going to be working with the Traxxas TQ 2.4 GHz transmitter. The first step you're going to need to do is take off any stickers that you have on it so that we can split it apart. Then you'll have this one right here that comes with the transmitter that is necessary to take it off to open it up. Next step will be to get your screwdriver and open up the back of the transmitter. Some models what you'll have to end up doing is taking out the batteries. For this particular model transmitter I have right here, it's not necessary. So just go ahead and pop this off. Oh, and by the way, for this one, it's just going to be these three screws up here. Uh, one right here. And then there's going to be one all the way then over here. These two, uh, I don't know if it's just aesthetics or what, but there's no screws in there. So don't waste your time trying to unscrew it. There's nothing in there. All right. Now, whatever you do, guys... Do not take this to the hobby shop immediately. They will tell you to buy a whole new combo receiver transmitter set. And I don't want to be paying and I don't want to be paying extra money when I don't have to. And you can fix this for free. So there you go. Comes right off just like that. And then now you're inside of the housing. Alright, so let's get down to it. This antenna right here is broken. In most cases, what will end up happening is this snaps off and then the impact actually pulls this wire out of where it's supposed to be. Now what we need to do is put it back. How do you do that? Well, with some transmitters, what you'll probably have to end up doing is soldering it in. But with mine, I've already done it. Uh, I, I, but with mine, all I had to do was just clip it back into place. And for this model right here, this piece right here, all I had to do was just clip it back to the circuit board. That little gold piece right there, that's the antenna wire. All I had to do was click it back into place, but you have to be careful because you have to press the... Uh, well, like, you have to press a little hard. You have to press a little hard to get it there. So what you'll have to do is put your finger behind it and then put one up front to push it in place. And then you'll hear a clicking sound and then that's when you know you're good to go. After the wiring off of the, the transmitter housing. And now what we're going to need to do is find a way to drill a hole through this so that we can have a pin so that we can have a pin go through this. Something that I found really convenient to get this little piece out of the housing so that I could put the nail through is that if I actually use the nail and push it through from the inside, I could actually push that little dot, I guess you could say, out. Oh, okay, maybe it's just because I don't have it aligned. All right, there we go. Don't you dare oh, just head. like that. Like and now all I have to do is I'll just get this onto the other part and hopefully the antenna will be fixed. Now in order to be able to use this nail to get through the housing of the antenna, you're going to have to make the hole a little bigger. What I have done is I went and I got a screw, a small screw with a pointy end to help make a hole. Because they don't really make drill bits that are small enough for these type of situations. Now it might be a little difficult to put through at first just because of the extra plastic in the way but you'll eventually get it through there just make sure you have a nice clean hole you'll see the light go through from the other side be sure that the antenna is not in the way there we have a nice clean hole right there go ahead and get your nail and just push it right through hopefully this should work ah don't poke yourself I didn't think that would actually work. Look at that. Now, all that, now, do, this is the hard part. You have to be really careful. I would recommend you wear some eye protection glasses or goggles. Uh, just basically put your nail, put your cutter right there, and we're just going to cut off that extra bit of the nail. 
Yeah, it just uh, takes a little bit of elbow grease, I guess, and you can cut it right off. Now to get a really nice flush cut with the housing of the antenna, you could try using a Dremel, but if you do not have a Dremel, what you could also try doing is using a sandpaper, but what I have here is this file, and basically you just take the nail and just rub it against it. Just rough it against it, just so that you can get it smooth, so that it doesn't hurt you when you rub your fingers across it. And if you are using the file method, make sure you just keep on turning the nail like rotisserie chicken on the file, just so you get the rough edges nice and smooth. Just keep on turning it as you go. Now all that is left is to get this piece on here and make the and push the nail through. And uh, what I try to do is pull the wire up front so that there's room for the nail to go through. There you go, and now we should see it come out the other end. Just moving around a little bit. You don't want to apply too much force because it might be a little misaligned, and there you go. Just like that. Now what you want to do is pull the wire just because we have this extra piece hanging off right here. But don't pull too hard because this is a very thin antenna wire. Just go ahead and pull that and you'll see that go right around that nail. Perfect, just like that. And basically this is just going to sit inside the controller and it's going to be able to go like that. And it's going to be able to do the motion again. After that, just put the antenna back into the, house, the remote control. Just put it back into its rightful, rightful home. Rightful Shut owner. up, Daniel. Rightful owner. <laughs> After that, put the antenna back in its respective place. Oh my god. And After that, and daddy. Yeah, like, After that, put the antenna back into its right into its spot on the remote control. And then just find a nice place for the wiring because you don't want it to uh, get squeezed between the, between the two halves of the remote. So what I found here is this rubber piece. So I'm assuming that this wire went under it because the wire, hold on, what is this? This is terrible quality. Because the wire runs through to the bottom and then connects to the circuit board right there. So I'm going to try to take this out by just rolling it back. And that's what it looks like it should be able to do. It doesn't look like it's stuck in there. All right, there it is. And then I'm basically just going to put it underneath that electric tape right there. And as well as and as well as under that piece with the rubber rolling roller. Got the wire underneath the electric tape there. I'm just going to put this little roller right here and just put it back the same way I took it out. Just roll it in there. Apply pressure, and there we go. Now the wire is nice and safely secured. After that, we're just going to put the other half of the housing back and just drop it like it's hot. Smack those stickers back into place. And now your controller is as good as new. And it's a little custom too, and then people will ask, what is that right there? You tell them, DIY Dan showed me how to do that trick. Now this part is pretty much optional, but what I was going to do is take some crazy glue and put it on the other side just so that the nail would be permanent and it wouldn't ever come out. But honestly, it's pretty tight in there, so you, if you don't have any crazy glue, I don't think it should be a good. I don't think it should be a big problem. You're only gonna need minimal amounts of crazy glue. Probably a drop will do the job. So just squeeze and just drop that drop on there like it's hot. There we go. Okay, uh, it's dripping down the side, so I'm just gonna guide it a little bit because I think this is water based and if you don't know water is actually polar so the way that it bonds to oh, hold on. I'm not a science teacher I'm fixing you know how to fix your remote control sorry about that you guys fall asleep over there okay I'm gonna be quiet so after waiting for it to dry the antenna is now fully functional it folds perfectly it turns and that nail is not coming out and this is ju it's just as good as new Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Well, 
I just helped you guys repair your transmitter for free. Now how could you possibly ever repay me? Go ahead. <coughs> hit that like button. No, no, no. Don't hit it. Uh, click it. Do not hit it, okay? Um, and just so you guys know, I will be making a how to fix your computer screen video very soon. Uh, take it easy, guys. You do look like that Ty Lopez. So, how could you possibly ever repay me? By hitting that like button. No, no, no. Don't hit it. Click it. Don't hit it. Click it. Um, just so you guys know, for future reference, I will be making a video very shortly on how to fix your computer screen. Uh, the reasoning for how I broke my computer screen will be remain unnamed. Uh, um, yeah, please uh, click the like button.